Late last night, James Gunn ripped the Band-Aid off and finally admitted he will not be using Henry Cavill as his Superman for his new DCU. And oh man, I did not expect to take a victory lap this soon, but I guess you could say Christmas came early for me. I want to break down the response by James Gunn, the response by Henry Cavill, and explain why I think both of them are actually not telling the full truth. Then I want to talk about where the fan base is at, how they're reacting, and if there's actually hope for James Gunn to win them back. And then we'll talk a little bit about the reboot, which at this point hopefully should be a full reboot. For God's sake, James Gunn, do not keep Peacemaker and your wife and get rid of Henry Cavill. That's going to be incredibly damaging to what you're trying to do. So smash the gosh dang like button and grab your popcorn. Let's begin. So first off, yeah, of course, I feel absolutely validated. I strongly feel, as I said in the previous video I made responding to this situation, that James Gunn got really unprofessional, got flustered, and overreacted to my tweet. And I do feel this is because he does actually not like Henry Cavill. And he knew at the time that he was not going to be moving forward with Henry Cavill as Superman. Now, look, you honestly do not have to believe me. You can take Gunn at his word although I am about to take you through a couple of examples of how I think he is clearly trying to spin the narrative. But all I really want to say about it is that I do trust my sources. Sure, I'm just some dude on the internet that makes YouTube videos and does live streams, but I do know people that know a lot of things. And I hope maybe now some of you just understand why I doubled and tripled down on this whole situation. So let's go through what James Gunn said, because he was first out the gate talking about this. And then we'll go over what Henry Cavill said, and we'll talk about how these two stories don't really match up. So last night at around 9 p.m., James Gunn tweeted, Peter and I have a DC slate ready to go, which we couldn't be more over the moon about. We'll be able to share some exciting information about our first project at the beginning of the new year. Among those on the slate is Superman. In the initial stages, our story will be focusing on an earlier part of Superman's life, so the character will not be played by Henry Cavill. But we just had a great meeting with Henry, and we're big fans, and we talked about a number of exciting possibilities to work together in the future. And honestly, that's all kinds of weird, especially when you read Henry Cavill's response, which was honestly heartbreaking. So Henry Cavill posted on Instagram last night, I have just had a meeting with James Gunn and Peter Safran, and it's sad news, everyone. I will, after all, not be returning as Superman. After being told by the studio to announce my return back in October, prior to to their hire, this news isn't the easiest, but that's life. The changing of the guard is something that happens. I respect that. James and Peter have a universe to build. I wish them and all involved with the new universe the best of luck and the happiest of fortunes. For those who have been by my side through the years, we can mourn for a bit, but then we must remember, Superman is still around. Everything he stands for still exists, and the examples he sets for us are still there. My turn to wear the cape has passed, but what Superman stands for never will. It's been a fun ride with you all. Onwards and upwards. And as always, guys, I'm just going to give you flatly and plainly my take on the situation. And it seemed to me that James Gunn had his very first meeting with Henry Cavill and then immediately broke the story about him not coming back as Superman to the internet. And this is being done by James because he doesn't like narratives. He doesn't like leakers, scoopers, or the Hollywood trades, it would seem. And he wanted to try to control the narrative out of the gate. And frankly, it seems like Gunn was trying to present the idea that Henry Cavill's too old for the role or that they are going to be focusing on an earlier part of Superman's life so Henry Cavill couldn't play a younger Superman. I frankly find that to be hilarious because we are literally about to watch an Indiana Jones movie where Harrison Ford in his friggin' 80s is gonna come back and play a young Indiana Jones. We also have a young Luke Skywalker in The Mandalorian and in The Book of Boba Fett played by Mark Hamill and other people to recreate a younger version of that character. And even Hugh Jackman, as a relatively old dude, is coming back to the role of Wolverine and Logan, and he's going to be aided by CGI and de-aging technology. On top of that, there's no mention of any of that in Cavill's statement. And Cavill's statement does really make it seem like they just had this meeting and he was told he's done. They're rebooting and they're moving on. And so there's no mention of like this younger thing or whatever the hell James Gunn was trying to spin to make people less mad at him for not bringing Henry Cavill back as Superman. 
And before that happened yesterday, Variety ran a big article talking about how Robert Pattinson's Batman was considered to be brought in as the DCU Batman for James Gunn, and then James Gunn debunked that, saying it was entirely false. However, later in the day, Grace Randolph had a live stream talking about what she had heard about the situation, and she claims that there was some truth to this story, that essentially James Gunn was interested in bringing Robert Robert Pattinson's Batman over, but Matt Reeves doesn't want to have his toys shared with other people, and he doesn't want the universe he created with Robert Pattinson to become the DCU. And I just gotta say, it really rings to me that Gunn was trying to dismiss this because he didn't want people to realize he was technically open to Robert Pattinson Batman being his Batman, but was not open to Henry Cavill as Superman in any way, shape, or form. And so, when you combine this story with a lot a lot of the other stories coming out recently really seems like there's going to be a clean DCU reboot. And so how is the fan base reacting? How are fans reacting to James Gunn not bringing Henry Cavill Superman back? Well, it's not going that great. And in a move that is honestly even surprising me, we're seeing a wild flip on James Gunn. It seemed like earlier in the week, especially after the interaction that he and I had, many people just thought Henry Cavill was going to be back. And they felt confident that James Gunn was going to do something with his incredible talents to elevate Henry Cavill as Superman and set up some sort of new DCU. And now the fans have come completely turned on him. The comments are absolutely incredible. The amount of videos and pieces of content that are being made about this is insane. People are very, very upset. And I think partially they're upset because Henry Cavill is literally this generation's Superman and was touted as coming back to the role as Superman earlier this year, literally was in the Black Adam movie. But I also think it's really fair to say that people are just upset in general at James Gunn for the way he's been communicating about this and maybe misleading people by trying to control the narrative. People also seem to think that all of the rest of the DC movies that are coming out next year, like Shazam, The Flash, and Aquaman 2, are essentially dead on arrival, as it really does seem like a full reboot is happening. Which, by the way, was something that the Variety article yesterday was trying to make mention of. And again, James Gunn tried to come out and say that it was completely false. He's obsessed with controlling the narrative. And I think that literally just bit him in the ass. Now, it's not all bad. And there are some DC fans out there that are actually happy that we're getting a reboot and that are excited to see what Gunn would do with the Superman character. But this did not go the way I think one Brothers and James Gunn wanted it to go. It's, of course, absolutely possible that whatever he decides to do with the DCU will be incredible and fans will be won over by just simply the quality of the work that they do. But it frankly feels like they are throwing all their chips in on this new Superman movie. And if that Superman movie does not work, the entire 10 year plan that they are working on could be dead on arrival. But now let's talk about the reboot as a concept and like, will this work? Could this actually work for DC? And I personally think it could work. I love the idea of going back to that phase one Marvel feeling where we're excited to see what does the DCU Superman act like? Who is this character? What are the flaws? What are the strengths? And how does he relate to the other characters? And I'm excited to see a DCU Batman. I'm excited to see Wonder Woman, to see all these characters develop. And I always said that James Gunn is a super sweaty comic book nerd and he knows these characters in a very similar way to the way Kevin Feige knows these characters. So I'm still trying to be as optimistic as I possibly can be about this. But there's a couple of things that I think could go really, really wrong with what they're about to do. Number one, James Gunn just kind of stepped in it with the Henry Cavill situation. And if he does not completely reboot, and I mean completely reboot, like no more of his wife, no no more of Margot Robbie, no more of friggin' anything like Peacemaker, any of that stuff. He has to kill his own babies. He has to kill everything. If we move forward without Henry Cavill, but there are some leftover elements of the things that James Gunn was working on, bro, that is going to look so narcissistic and egotistical. And I think that's going to just leave a horrible taste in the mouth 
of the fans. The other potential pitfall here is that audiences of this era might not be as keen on origin stories. I know that the conventional wisdom is that through phase one and two, you got all of these characters at, at Marvel introduced with their own movie, establishing the character, and then working towards a collective film where they all became the Avengers. And I could see the logic behind wanting to replicate that in the DCU, but audiences might just not be down with more origin movies. It might might just not work, man. And I don't know that you have the time to like to have all these different solo movies and then try to work it all out and bring it all together because you're going to be competing with Avengers, Kang Dynasty, and Secret Wars right around this time. It's just, it seems like there are a lot of pitfalls as to how this could go down very badly for Warner Brothers. And Warner Brothers itself as a studio is in such a bad position. The stock price just seems to keep going down and down and down. And they've been holding L after L this year. And there are massive rumors that NBC Universal will just buy the whole thing in 2024 and maybe do this whole reboot thing again. But having said that, I do actually think there is a way forward. And if they make one of the greatest movies ever made that also happens to be maybe the best Superman movie or one of the best Superman movies, then they can actually turn this whole thing around, get audiences back on board and potentially do some really cool things. I've always said that DC being organized, having a plan and actually having connective tissue between their different projects is a winning, successful form formula that they should have emulated a long, long time ago. And it is still possible that they will nail that. I love DC. I love Superman. I love Henry Cavill as Superman. I'm trying not to be too petty about this. Obviously, I was personally involved with it in some weird way, but I'm still trying to be optimistic and look forward to the future of DC films. Of course, let me know what you think about this. Smash a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel and our live streaming channel so you have a chance to win the dope nerdy stuff we give away each month. And if you want to watch more, why not watch the first video I did about this, my response to James Gunn attacking me on Twitter.